Today in this 2010 Thor Cruiser Crossroads fifth wheel, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Solera 14 foot sand fade RV awning roller and fabric, part number LCV 0002231790 in conjunction with the Solera Universal Awning Support for RVs with 12 volt power, part number LC434722. To ease our install, we'll also be using the Camco White Butyl Tape, part number CAM25013. Here we are at our campsite with our fifth wheel. We got here and we found out that our powered awning won't come down and doesn't work anymore, which is terrible since it's a really hot and bright day. And before the awning itself broke, we had holes in it too. So it wasn't the best situation when it was raining. We got a little wet underneath it. So in situations like this with our torn fabric up here and our damaged power awning system, this is why you're gonna need a full replacement. It'll give us a nice, cool, dry, shaded area and it'll be a quick and easy replacement for you. Now that we've shown you what the broken, torn, and non-functional awning looked like before, here's what our replacement solution looks like. Now we have our new awning in the exact same position that our old one was stuck at. And you'll see right away that our fabric is no longer torn, it isn't covered in mold, it's not gonna let the sun pass through or water drip down on us. And also, our awning can actually move on its own now, just with a simple press of a switch. We'll simply press and hold the extend button on our switch until our awning is in the desired position. And when we want to bring it back in to get back on the road, we'll simply hold the retract button of our switch and it'll come back in all the way and stop. Now what I really like about this awning is how much shade coverage it gives me. It gives me a nice place out of the sun where I can sit back, relax, and enjoy a cold one. The fabric of our awning is going to fade from a sand color at the very end of it to more of a white color closer to the trailer. And that's going to be great for us because most of our fifth wheels and motorhomes, they do have a white body on them. So it's going to work great with any color pattern that you have on your fifth wheel, your trailer, or your motorhome. Our fabric also features an anti-mildew coating on it. So when it rains, our fabric is not going to absorb any of the water, which could lead to mold and mildew issues. So we don't have to worry about any potential health hazards from that, or have to worry about having a nasty smell on the awning itself, or having to worry about cleaning it on a more regular basis. Now this awning is gonna measure 14 feet wide. It's gonna stick out about eight feet from the side of our RV. With that being said, this 14 by 8 awning is going to give us plenty of square footage to give us shade coverage. One cool feature about our Solera powered awning arms is that if the angle of the sun changes and you find yourself getting in the sun a little bit more, you can change the pitch of your awning. To do that, you can simply grab it and pull down and it'll lower the awning on down. Do this on both sides until you get it where you want it and it'll stay exactly there. Now that we've changed our pitch, some of our customers have asked, with our pitch fully down so it's at the steepest angle, with it being closest to the ground at the end of it, can we still retract the awning in this position without changing the pitch back to normal place? And the answer is yes, and I'll show you that now. And just like that, our awning is back into its stored position. That's why they call it the set it and forget it feature. You don't have to worry about putting it back into its normal position in order to retract it. You can forget about it and retract it without any damage. Now compared to other awning options on the market, having a powered awning makes it a lot easier for you. You don't have to get out and manually manipulate the awning in order to get it extended. With our 12 volt motor that's built into it, it does all the work for you. You don't have to hook onto it with a crank and crank it down or use a manual pull strap in the center of it to pull the awning out, then try to lock your arms in the position that you want it. This does everything for you, just with a simple flip of a switch. Now you may have asked yourself, what happens if the batteries die on my fifth wheel or there's an electrical problem, and I have the awning extended and I need to get it back retracted so I can get going back home and bring my fifth wheel with me? Well, on the right side of the awning, there's a black plug. We can take out this plug, and we can use a socket on a drill 
stick it on the nut inside and use the drill to retract the awning. So as you can see, it does work. It will take you a little bit of time to get it fully retracted though, but it will allow you to get it retracted so you can go home. So we went ahead and we laid out our new fabric awning in the middle and we have our idler arm on the left side as we're facing the trailer and we have our powered arm on the right side as we're facing the trailer. Now we'll take our arms on both sides and we'll flip them over so we have access to the back side. Now we'll take some of our butyl tape here and we'll peel off a little bit, cut it off, and we'll stick it on the back side where our holes are here on the top. We'll leave the backing on for right now. We'll do the same for our three holes here in the middle. Don't worry if it sticks off past the edge, we can always cut it off with a utility knife later. We'll also do our very bottom ones. We don't need to worry about this, just those. Now we'll go repeat the same process on the other awning arm. With all of our butyl tape now applied, we can take our awnings and flip them back over so they're facing up. Okay, now we need to attach our roll of awning material to our awning arms. I wanna point out that I have the roll, the end of it facing towards the trailer and facing up. This way we can attach it to the trailer. Now you see the holes will line up. You can have it 180 degrees, it doesn't matter which way. And we'll just push it. So once it lines up, we can install our screw to secure it. We'll go repeat the same process on the other side. Now we'll take a 12 volt battery. I'm using the one from my drill since it's readily available. And we're going to hook our wire leads up to this so we can extend the fabric out about 12 inches away from our awning roll. Now with an extra set of hands, we've lifted our awning with the fabric attached up and we'll walk it over to the right side of our trailer. Now we'll get it in position with our extra hands and we'll start to slide it into the track on our awning. We'll take our end of the fabric and we'll slide it into the track that's on our fifth wheel. And we'll start walking it over to the left side of the fifth wheel. Now we'll go ahead and cut our zip tie that secures the arm from extending. It'll come out a little bit. And we'll push up on the arm until it contacts our track. We'll install our new screws in the existing holes from our old awning. And that'll help hold it into place. We'll do the same process on the other side. Now we can start working on our wiring connections. In our particular case, the white wire will go to our white wire and our red wire will go to our black wire. And we'll just combine them using the existing wire nuts that we already had from our old awning. Okay, we went ahead and used some electrical tape to wrap up our wires and the connectors just to help better protect them. And now we'll place them back inside our trailer. And we'll just shove the remainder of our wire in there just like that. Now that we have power hooked up to our awning and we're using our existing switch that's inside our fifth wheel, we went ahead and extended it out about three feet so we have access to our sides to install the rest of our hardware. We'll just line up our rails on the side with the existing marks from our old awning was installed and then secure it with our self-tapping screws on the bottom locations. Okay, now we'll put in our remaining screws at the top and the bottom of our upper bracket. All right, now in our case, we're gonna put two more right in the middle. You do have multiple options here to use if you want. You don't have enough screws included with it to use all locations, but use as many as you can. Okay, we went ahead and retracted our awning all the way now that our arms are secured to the side of the fifth wheel. Now we're gonna secure our awning to the slide where it goes into using the self-tapping screws. 
they'll go through the rail and into the awning and they'll prevent it from being able to be pulled side to side. Right, we went ahead and took some caulk and went around our side brackets here for the awning and filled in the hole where our power wire comes out on the right side. Now we'll go ahead and test out our awning. As you can see, we chose to reuse our existing switch versus the new one since it fit in the pre-cut hole nicely. And this one, you would have a little bit of exposed edge since it's a little bit shorter. If you needed to replace your switch, just wire it up according to the instructions. So we'll go ahead and extend it out, make sure it works. And we'll attract it to make sure it works too. Now that we know it works, we're ready to get on the road and go camping. And that'll complete our look at and showing you how to install the Solera 14 foot sand fade RV awning roller and fabric, part number LCV 0002231794.